a, a resident here that was home when this tornado struck. I'm looking at your house and I'm just in shock. How did you survive this? By getting in a closet about this size, my husband and I both. Tree. This was our living room. There's a tree where our living room is. So off of your living room is this one small closet? We ran to this hall in the living room and got in this closet. We'll take a closer look. Watch your step, Taylor. There's a big tree in the hallway. <laughs> my husband and I both got down. In this small space? In this small space. Oh my goodness. And he held the door to keep it from blowing open. So Taylor, tell me about this woman who lives here. Well, we're in Choctaw, Oklahoma, and if you look behind us, you'll see the damage that was done to this house. And it turns out when we walked up, this is a Red Cross volunteer that's been with us since the 1995 bombing. It was actually at a class on Monday when the storm hit and got a phone call that her house was well, We're glad you're okay. Oh, thank God you. God bless. Thank you. <laughs> so glad you're okay. I never thought I'd be showing up on a Red Cross volunteer. Well, lawn. you know, uh, we're all okay, and with that, we can go on. The garage door that is literally wrapped right through the center of this pickup truck. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see that better. That is a garage door. I hope people can see that, Taylor, because that is, you know, when we talk about not being outside during storms that you need to take cover, because this is the kind of debris that's flying around. I mean, it's you, really frightening. You gotta think about the amount of force that would cause a piece of, of aluminum like that to wrap around. Kyle, I think this might be our littlest survivors. <laughs> I think you are right. Oh, oh, oh my you know, goodness. We're just coming through the neighborhood, trying to give out water and supplies. Yeah. Um, well, that's really nice of you guys. He said he enjoyed the coffee and burgers, so. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. I joined the Red Cross to come help with this kind of stuff. Like people that they need to rebuild, but they need to help get their first. And just seeing houses with no roofs and, and and seeing all these people out here doing their best they can to uh, doing their best to, to rebuild and, and clean up and, and salvage what they can. So I'm glad that the Red Cross can be here so that we can help them with that recovery. This was a pretty violent tornado.